my name is Gordon Du. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an associate professor at UND Chemistry. Um, my role at the, in the ND ACES is just a faculty investigator in the materials pillar. Uh, I also serve as a liaison with the cellular pillar, although I don't really know a lot about cellular research yet. I'm learning still. Uh, our, our research builds on our experience with the synthesis of biodegradable polymers. And uh, our ND acid project, uh, we work with mostly nano materials based on polymeric materials. So the, the idea is to use those nano materials um, as nano carriers when, when we make them into nano materials or nano, nano particles, essentially. Uh, or polymers are biodegradable and biocompatible. So they don't have any particular concern with the toxicity with the cellular system. And uh, the two main classes of polymers we're working with are polycelloethers and the polyesters. Uh, Both of them are fairly non-toxic and uh, also their properties can be tuned and uh, those stimuli responsive units can be introduced. So the hope is that by adjusting this uh, responsiveness to environmental conditions, they can selectively release their payload or the target uh, in the tumor cells. So uh, this is important uh, because you know, that's really one of the main challenges in the uh, cancer treatment because we really want to just kill the cancer cells but not the normal cells. So you have to have this selectivity when you deliver the drug. And uh, I think this has a great potential. Um, you know, there's different response uh, uh, triggers we can utilize to to enable this particular property. And uh, this is a great area for student participation because it really is interdisciplinary and the students would get exposure and training in many different areas of polymer chemistry, material science, nanotechnology, as well as uh, cell biology. And the students will also have opportunities to work with um, uh, a great team of researchers at a various stage of the careers and learn a wide range of topics and the technical skills. And uh, for the high school students, uh, my group hasn't really host uh, any high school students, but in our department, uh, we have, basically we have these uh, experience and the resources to accommodate high school students. And uh, myself has been involved in, uh, in the summer camp and uh, some of the workshops targeting high school and the middle school students. So we are well prepared uh, for you know, those type of students. And uh, so I, I think if any students are interested, we are certainly uh, ready and uh, you will feel uh, welcome and uh, be taken care of. Mm -hmm.